Carrie and I got married in the early 70s and uh, that's when I really started getting in the cow pens and working the cattle. And my first memory of actually being in the cow pen was the neighbor's cow pens and it had a dipping vat. And so my job was to make sure that the cattle made it out of the dipping vat. They were dipping them for the flies and the lice. I don't know what I was supposed to do if they didn't. <laughs> I don't know if I was supposed to go in there after them or throw them a life preserver or something like that. I think it was always perceived that a cattle person was not an environmentalist. And it was like we were out here to harm the land, harm our water. We can factually stand up and speak to a crowd and tell them that we were actually the first environmentalist. We want clean air, we want clean water, we want the wildlife, we want the endangered species. All of this works coexist with, with the cattle business. When you can prove that to them and show them the pictures of the green spaces and the happy grazing cattle and the deer feeding by and the gopher tortoises or the snail kite, just all coexisting, it, it shows it works. We're big believers in conservation easements. We have done probably close to between 85 to 90% of all of our property is in some sort of conservation easement. All of these are perpetual. If we were to ever sell the ranch land, which we know we wouldn't, but if for some reason we did, that easement would go with that land. That there would never be a building, there would never be an asphalt road, there would never be any kind of development of that land. And so when you tell non-ag people or non-cattle people that you've done that, they are just like in awe. My husband actually is a 14th generation uh, cattle person in the United States. Um, uh, our children are the eighth Florida generation. We raised our children in this right here on the ranch um, and now nine grandchildren. And to me, they're learning it the more old fashioned way because it's like there's not any technology to it. It's all done in such a traditional old way. We still do hot brands with identification on the cattle, we still do earmarks on the cattle and keep those registered with the state. We still bring our cattle in on horseback with the cow dogs and the cow horses. And then once we get them in the cow pens, of course, everything is hands-on, everything's manual. We have a couple of hydraulic chutes, but that's mostly for safety. I know my children and my grandchildren are taken care of as far as their future in the cattle business because we've made it possible. If that continues, um, then there'll always be a future for the cattle business, uh, especially in the state of Florida.